Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokkan Battle video. In this video we're going to take a look at the next phase of the Dokkan Battle All Stars Raid and obviously see just how we can complete it with a free to play team. So we are at stage 356 and I think we're about to tackle one of the largest segments. Uh, this segment being the Majin Buu Saga segment. So Majin Buu Saga is a pretty big, uh, obviously, portion of the series. I think it's the second longest section of the series. Uh, and obviously it's filled with quite a few memorable fights. Uh, now the free-to-play team for this is pretty good. Uh, basically there's just a crap ton uh, of great free-to-play options to choose from. So you don't really have to worry too much about anything you have. A great selection of leads you have a great selection of options uh, you can pretty much just roll with whatever you want i personally am rolling with the great sam man one and two uh, and just going for a mix of kind of join forces and goku's family etc units but really uh, you can run whatever you want here obviously for those of you who don't know the dokkan battle all stars raid is a huge dokkan uh, extremity battle basically where it will change categories sometimes very quickly, sometimes very short, and you basically get a chance at getting some pretty big uh, stone rewards. You get one stone every five levels, you get a whole bunch of hidden potential orbs. There's just a lot of value in doing the All-Stars Raid. Now that's not to say that it's uh, the most enjoyable experience. It's it's pretty rough. If I do say so myself, it's it's pretty rough but uh, you know it is what it is uh, it's not something too difficult most players will have a pretty easy time you don't need to do it free to play you can do it with summoned units uh, but generally speaking it's just a pretty easy pretty fun event for you to just kind of enjoy and, and have a good time with so yeah uh, that's basically it obviously we've skipped ahead uh, to stage 506 so you can see just how big this section uh, really was of this all-star battles raid it was pretty huge like i said it's one of the biggest sections so uh, it doesn't really surprise me to see just how big this section is uh, i think it's the second or third biggest section so it kind of coincides with the story obviously there's a ton of bosses that you face etc uh, honestly speaking really wasn't bad in any way shape or form just let the party auto battle the entire way through and didn't seem to have too many major difficulties obviously some people might struggle a bit more especially if you don't have some of the free to play units or if you're a brand new player but a lot of the free to play units are super accessible uh, you can get them with a portal of uh, keys or portal of memory keys i should say uh, so you shouldn't really have a huge issue it ends all the way with goku uh, goku from the oob fight so yeah uh, pretty simple stuff actually honestly overall i give it just a pretty solid uh pretty just yeah solid section it really wasn't too hard i think the free to play choices were great and that made this super duper easy uh, because the team was just pretty strong for this kind of event the team was basically really really strong and we didn't seem to have that many problems at all uh, finding a lead was maybe one of our bigger problems but there are plenty of strength Vegitos out there so it really wasn't anything too major you know it wasn't like we couldn't find one at all um, and there's plenty of alternative leads as well as you can see we're using a Vegeta and Trunks as our lead due to how they can do the parent on the parent and child category so yeah pretty easy pretty simple stuff and yeah if you've got any problems or you've got any difficulties you can always let me know in the comments down below but that's it for this section and i'll see you guys in the next one bye